What's going on, everyone? This is Alley Cat, the Re-Meow edition. Now, uh, some of you might remember I recently played this during one of my classic game live streams that I do every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I had a great time with it, actually. But I only played it for about a half an hour, and the next day I played it a bit more on my own and kind of discovered a bit more about how the game works, a couple more features, things like that. And I thought it would be doing the game a disservice to upload my original Let's Play of it that I did live. So we're going to do a dedicated one right here and have some fun with it because it's actually a pretty cool game. Uh, this is obviously a remaster, a remastered version of the original uh, 1983 game, which I guess a lot of people have found my Let's Play of. Very honored. Thank you so much for watching that. But, uh, yeah, it was actually on that Let's Play that someone in the comments mentioned to me, Hey, do you know some guy made a, uh, a fan remake of this? You know, maybe check it out sometime. And I did, and, yeah, it is pretty cool. So, I'm going to share it with you right now. This is a free game, by the way. You can download it, play it yourself. If you never played the original, this game works very well across, you know, most modern systems. So, uh, check it out. All right, enough said. Let's get into it. And actually, one of the things I discovered is that you can map it to a controller. Gamepad controller. I'm using my PlayStation controller right now. Works pretty well, actually. So, we're going to start off with arcade mode. And let me make sure in the options I have all the stages turned on. Okay. So there's five new stages in this new version of the game, in addition to the original five. Which I guess are all there on the left, actually. Yeah, so all the new levels are over here on the right. The bedroom, the kitchen, the bathroom, the terrace, and the magic room. So we'll get an idea of what all these look like. Oh, and by the way, in the, the remake, this version of the game, you can also, you programmed it in so that you can play the different kind of iterations of the game. This is the one that I did, the IBM version, obviously, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You can play in the in the uh, form of your choice. We're gonna stick with the new version, because that's the point of all this. And you can do two players, which is pretty cool. Just me, so I'm gonna just go one player, and you'll see this looks pretty similar right here. Very colorful, though, in the update. One thing you'll notice here, <laughs> here's the pantry. Some guy with a giant block of cheese. I never questioned this when I was a kid. It's just part of the fun, part of the wackiness. See if we get that last mice or mouse. There we go. Nice. All right, Let's see if we can get to our girlfriend. <laughs> I like the little gamepad controller down there, the Super Nintendo controller. All right, let's see. Oh no. Gotta be careful here. Oh no. <laughs> they don't like it. Oh, I just made it. All right. Nice. Cute. Fireworks. <laughs> Kittens watching the moon. Very romantic. All right. Another one of the classic levels here. Albeit with an updated animation. Same idea here. We're gonna... Nice! Flew right into my mouth. Right, let's go for two. Mm, I don't like when there's not a clear pass to the, the cat up top. Oh, gosh. How the heck am I gonna do this? This one's not looking good. Ah. <laughs> that happens sometimes. I was going to say, one of the, the major differences is this game runs a bit faster, more responsive. Here's one of the new levels, the bathroom. Watch out for the rubber ducky coming after you. Here the goal is to unroll the toilet paper, as I'm sure many cat owners are well familiar with. The duck will kill you. Oh, as will the dog. <laughs> I kind of like 
The cool thing is, um, the game, uh, these new levels can be played with the older kind of, uh, graphic quality. So if you want to do, like, the IBM version, you can still do these new levels, and they're animated as if they were around the 1983. It's pretty cool. But I like this modern version because you get these sort of, like, on the sides of the screen, you know, like the shower curtains or whatever, blocking off the sides. So you don't know where that dog's coming from right away. Adds a little layer of difficulty to it. Sometimes I get cocky. Try to unroll that when I clearly don't have time to. I don't know how you do that one too much faster, but... Alright, let's try our luck again. Forget we got that package. There we go. Don't knock me off. No! There we go. Aww. Romantic. There's no kittens in this version. In the, uh, this, you know, graphical version. You can still get them in the, one of the classic ones. The bird level. I think, just make it a point to, uh, to experience every single one of the different biomes, different rooms, apartment rooms in this version. Then we'll move on to that other feature, kind of the multiplayer, which I just learned there's more to it. I haven't done that version yet, so we'll get to that in a moment. But I'd say, with the control pad, this game is a lot easier. Um, I'm starting to say, yeah, this game is, it's much faster than the original, which kind of adds to the difficulty. Um, so with the keyboard, it's a bit more tricky. With the controller, I think I have a bit more control, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And, uh, they're starting to take away the trash cans. And it's speeding up even more. Oh, God. I will say the dog is easier to avoid down here, which I appreciate. Oh god! Those things hit me a lot more with the faster speed. I don't know why people are throwing garbage out their windows. And they're targeting that. Right, we already did this one. We'll start, uh, and there's two ducks. You can see they ratcheted up the difficulty in the individual levels as well. Actually, I, I might not even be able to get out of here. <laughs> this is going to be difficult. Oh god. <laughs> get me out of here. That was my best chance. Oh my god. Wow. Oops, nothing. That place was a death trap. Okay. Ah, the fishbowl. Alright. <laughs> I like the bubbles at the bottom here. And they keep adding another electric eel every time. Come up for some air here. Every time you get a fish. God, just gotta get that last fish. In the danger zone down there. Come on up here, fishy. Come on. <laughs> Bottom feeder. All right. Ah! Oh, so close. Fishy loves to torment me. All right. Almost got shocked. Actually, doing much better than I did when I did this live. Awesome. Try a tribute to the gamepad. Aww. There would be so many kittens on the screen right now. I like to give you an extra trash can. Or two. No, I guess just the one. Right here. Kind of like Pac-Man. Whoa! I did not think they had the angle on that to hit me. I'll be honest. Man, they're less and less close to snatch on to. Wow. They split those articles of clothing. There we go. Alright, the bed level. This one's really tricky with the sides because the clothes are kind of covering up where the dog will come from. I love that sound. <laughs> 
Actually, the developer of the game reached out to me because in my uh, my live Let's Play of it, I discovered that you can... Don't knock me out the window. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I discovered you can fall into the holes in the bed, and I I thought something was, like, reaching out and grabbing me, but uh, <laughs> you just fall into the holes. Dang it. Somewhat safer when you don't have to worry about. Oh, that, that was that was close to being bad. Oh wow, they put a cat from the get go down there. It's getting harder to find love on these later stages. I should mention there's. Ow! I should mention ow! I should mention there's also a number of uh, cheat codes which are freely available on the website where you can download the game. And uh, just to kind of change up the gameplay experience a little bit, you can play as the female cat, actually, the one that you're always trying to get with. And then you can try to pursue this cat, which is kind of a fun change of pace. I forget the exact code. Ah, uh, the kennel. I think this is the one place where we can be reasonably sure that... There's no dog coming from the sides. This is where they all... <laughs> this is where they all go. In between levels. Ah, I forgot about the magic milk carton. Love the Metal Gear Solid sound effect there. So we can, like, maybe drink a little bit from one bowl to uh, distract a magical milk carton. And then move on. Got to distract that broom. I love that little skip. Ah! Okay. Oh! Alright. Rocking the boat. Let's finish strong. Well, not strong. <laughs> well, let's finish. Alright. <laughs> I like that. That cat just lets itself in from the get-go. They're on the bottom. Oh, come on, kitty! All right. Nice. There's a cheat code for nine lives, obviously, to make the game a bit easier. Oh, okay. Ah, the classic. Ooh. Classic library scene with two spiders because it's one of the later difficulties. This is one where we do get the dog. Yeah. And there's a ton of plants to knock off. Oh, that's all right. At this point, I'm just trying to get all the levels shown, whether we beat them or not. Get some of the newer ones. Very difficult at this point. Alright, let's give this one more try. I think we might get bit here. Everything's so fast at this point. Ah, alas. <laughs> Dang it, Jerry. That's what I call that cat. It's my only way up there. Cats are in that dang. I ah, already did this one. So we still need to get. That's why it's nice to be able to pick and choose the, the levels that you can. I'm trying to leave. I know that's your job. I'm trying to work with you, Broom. Close. 
It's just like a trigger. Brings that dog out as soon as we get knocked off. Oops. Yeah, between, like, no clothes, constant dogs, ah, the magic room. Alright, so this one's brand new, obviously. And... So the cards have nothing to do with anything else. Maybe just a distraction. So the idea here is to collect four rabbits. And not the, I guess, the, the dogs that pop out. They will kill you. Obviously, you can differentiate between the two with their, their looks and their menacing sound. Ah, jump the gun. That's all right. I feel like at this point in the game, if you're really trying to survive, you just keep looking for that cheese room. <laughs> it's the easiest one. It's the safest one. To the bathroom. So we have the, the kitchen and the terrace. I think those are the only two that we're still missing. That we haven't done. Magic room again. Ah, eh, we try the magic room. See if we can't beat it. There's no dog running around, which I like. All baddies. Are there any rabbits left? I wonder if it's related to how many rabbits you've got already. This is crazy. What a streak. Ah, there he is. Ah. Now we got a happy bunny streak. Words I've never uttered on this channel before. <laughs> happy bunny streak. There we go. Better safe than sorry. Oop. Okay. Alright <laughs> All right, then. Barely had time to get my bearings. Ah, lost it against the bricks. That brown boot. I just didn't realize there were those other versions of the game. Or, I don't know, maybe they're... See, I just want to leave. There we go. I like how diverse a group of uh, tenants this apartment building has. You have, like, a magician, someone that likes fish, someone who has a giant block of cheese in their... <laughs> in their living room for some reason. Someone who keeps an obscene amount of dogs. Alright, last life. And we'll just kind of turn on the last two levels that we want. Because it's hard enough just surviving at this point. Yeah, the only thing I miss from this version is seeing all the kittens. Because that felt like a nice... Yeah, we did... <laughs> that didn't last very long. Alright. Anyway. Yeah, it's a nice way to track your project... Uh, your... Your, uh, progress. All the kittens on the screen dancing around. Alright, let's just see. How many stages? So the only thing we missed was the terrace. I'm not going to worry about that. But, uh, you know, you can check that out. So I want to get to the other part of the game. This is the versus mode, which I skipped over because I did not realize that uh, you could play this on your own with CPU enemies. And you can control their difficulty. Let's see. Let's have one house cat and then 
two other kittens. Let's see how this goes. I really don't know that much about that. I've never tried this, so this is gonna be a first. Select your cat color, pushing left to right. Oh, nice. <laughs> the yellow one, April. Nice, kiwi, I like that, it's cute. Guess we'll go kiwi. Ketchup over there on the right. Okay, let's meow. Oh, no, I changed it at the last second. Oh, this is cool. So we have this and all right. That's all the time we had to mess with those cats. <laughs> Stick off the wrong. All right. <laughs> I'll figure out what's going on here. All right. So I need to get in there in time. There we go. No, did I make it? No, nah, I didn't get there in time. Oh, this is the terrace. All right. Nice. So the goal here is to eat all the plants and not get stung by the bees, essentially. I like the classic computer over there in the bottom left. Oh, I can be the broom, I guess, here. Oh, I can be the bee as well. Interesting. <laughs> it is kind of like, I think the developer was telling me, it's kind of like the Bomberman effect. Like, once you get knocked out, you can still kind of mess with the other guy's chances from the grave. <laughs> oh my god. This is chaos. I love it. Alright, I want to get in on one of these. There we go. Here we are. Didn't last very long. Alright. I didn't even realize, like, which... which is the harder difficulty cap that I set. I was worried about my breath. And if you don't get in there in time... There you go. Let's see who's gonna get the bird. Ah! I'm gonna challenge and they, they're the ones that get to try. Oh, nice! So now I am the penultimate cat over here, and I got to knock him down. Ah, man. Hats off to Mikan. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? So you can play this, obviously, with up to four players. I can just imagine that would just be absolute chaos. Everybody could have a controller. Ah! I was going to say, don't let me be the only one left out. <laughs> four cats. Just barreling into someone's... Someone's library. Nice! We won our first challenge. Now we can... Try to try to find love, just like Mike. And... All right, so they're gonna try to mess with me, obviously. Problem is, it's that jump I can't make. Oh, there we go. Heck yeah! Oh, Genki and. I guess not Snowy, we're playing against Snowy, but Lola maybe. Alright, everybody's in on the magic room. I got knocked into it. So I guess if I didn't get in the room, then I can mess with the other cats, with the broom and stuff. But being that I participated, I can't control anything. That's fair. <laughs> the white cat accidentally left. This might be ketchups to lose. Oh, and it was. Arr! Ketchup! <laughs> Four cats going after one bird. And we got it. Heck yeah, Kinky. Oh, dropped right in. Oh no, I had my clear path. Come here, Lola. Sorry if that's not Lola. <laughs> that's not that cat's name. <laughs> we keep calling her Lola. Sweet. Were we going to three? I think we were going to three. So one more and we'll win this whole thing. Oh, we were going to two. I won the game. Okay, <laughs> never mind. 
That's great. Well, I am very glad that uh, I played this again because, yeah, that that might be my favorite part of the game, actually. Uh, that's a very cool feature. Exclusive, obviously, to the uh, the Remeow edition. But yeah, check it out. It's a completely free game uh, from Joffloff Games, and uh, I had a lot of fun playing it. Thanks so much, everyone, who watched my original Let's Play of the original Alley Cat from back in the day. And, uh, yeah, tune in next time for more fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Brigands. And I hope to see you then. Thank you for watching, and please hit that subscribe button to get notified every time I put up a new video or go live with one of these fantastic games. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now. Someday.